Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another easy 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in our Step After Fall. This was developed and published by the Bergson's Game Studio and is available for another lovely small £4.19 slash $4.99 in the old USV. So this plays as a basically a walking simulator where we control Big Steve Robinson, a successful writer whose wife goes missing and then he changes his name to Alan Wake. Oh, yeah, whoops, nope, sorry, that's not it, wrong one. But his name is Steve, he's depressed, bad things have happened, and we need to give him a good time to cheer him up, so, sort of. Achievements-wise, they're very, very easy. There's a few items that we need to inspect throughout the small map, plus we need to grab letter collectibles, then we have to do a good ending, and then the bad ending. But all in all, this will only take roughly about 15 minutes or so. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And there's only one way to begin, and that is clicking the new game. Now, uh, in terms of buttons, you can press the left bumper, the LB button to sprint, or jog ever so slightly faster. We're going to turn immediately to the right, though, as we begin. So, like I said, press the left bumper there to sprint slightly. We can interact with items pressing the right trigger, and that's what we're going to do. As soon as we head up this ladder, press the right trigger to climb. You can press the LB button to sprint up the ladder as well, which, fair play to old... Um, Big Steve as we climb up the second ladder here. This one's a bit longer and to be honest Just watching this guy climb up the ladder at speed is absolutely knackering me out So what we're gonna do then we're gonna head up We're gonna turn around and we're gonna think actually you know what screw this well time to die Gibby <laughs> And that is uh, how you create a temporal paradox and this uh, this you died screen looks awfully familiar doesn't it? Anyway, that is the first achievement there for dying, the big four, and now we can crack on. So, go straight in front of us, grab this letter here on this sign, you're going to press the right trigger, and then you're going to press the right trigger again to take it. I don't know where you're putting it, because if you look directly down, you've got no legs or feet, so uh, apparently you're floating in midair. Right, just keep going straight ahead, you can see the cabin basically directly in front of us, so make a massive Usain Bolt ever so slightly jog towards the cabin. So when we get here, press the right trigger on the door to realise that it is locked, which is unfortunate. Uh, have a look on the right hand side on the window to grab the next letter, there it is. Uh, take that again with the right trigger, and then we're going to turn to the left and head up the hill slightly to find this little windmill. Now Big Steve's not going to like this, this is where his old personality decided to change to Alan Wake, but we've still got to be here. So go up, <laughs> go up the couple of steps, and on top of this barrel is going to be a key that we're going to grab again. Right trigger of course to grab the key. And there it is. Right, uh, turn to your left to find the, the third letter of the game, Steve's Letter Fragment. So make sure to pick that up, pop it away, and then we can head all the way back down to the cabin. A couple of achievements we are going to grab in here. So you can press the A button to jump if you ever so wish, if you want to try and break your non-existent floaty legs. Otherwise, what we can do, go up to the door, we need to press the left trigger to go into your inventory, and then press the right trigger to unlock it. That's how you unlock stuff in this game. So turn directly to the right, have a look at the photograph on the bed, pick it up with the right trigger to get the You Are Breathtaking achievement. They must have got a Keanu Reeves uh, picture in there. Breathtaking. Anyway, have a look on the table to grab the next letter. This is Cameron's letter. So make sure to pop that one in and then head to the left again into this sort of back room area. Have a look and grab the... Um, interact with the bottom drawer, first of all. Pick up the medicine bottle to get the next achievement for Alive and Kicking, so make sure to grab that one and pop it back with the left trigger. Then we can pick up the key, which is the bedside table key, and of course the next letter, which is Steve's letter fragment, numero foruno. So press the left trigger and then the right trigger to unlock this top drawer right here, open it up, and grab the pistol. Of course, that's obviously not very ominous at all, is it, to have one random pistol? Pop it back again with the left trigger and we can head out of the door. And then what we need to do is go to the tower where we first died. So what we can do is start head left slightly and start going through the woods. Uh, as soon as you get through the woods, you should see the tower in the distance. Then we're just going to climb the tower like we did before. So the right trigger to climb up, LB of course to sprint all the way up to the top. This time of course, we're not going to go splat splat on our head head. I must continue.
and after all this gassing and running around and stuff. Ah, right, we made it. Right, interact with the letter here behind the book. That's going to be Bob's letter. Bob. And then we can interact with the key as well. So make sure to pick up the key. That is the chest's key. Makes sense. Right. Head very slowly. Look down and then keep pressing the right trigger. Try not to fall. And eventually the prompt should appear right there. So we can just start heading all the way back down. Lovely. Again, try not to die. If you end up dying, you'll have to start from the beginning again. And, you know, it's just a minor inconvenience, isn't it? So turn around, directly around. We're just going to drop off this little uh, edge here. And then we can turn around, have a look at the door. Again, we can open it up. And then we can go and um, to the right, have a look at this diving helmet for the next letter. Steve's letter fragment, numero fiverino. How good is my Spanish pepperoni? Right, what we're going to do is turn to the right and then just turn directly to the right. So basically, there's a big rock on the right-hand side. You just need to hug that uh, right-hand side rock. Um, you can see a couple of tracks here. Um, and as you can see, there is the rock. So we needed we need to basically go immediately to the right until we see this little bonfire in the distance or this light with a little picnic basket on it. The picnic basket houses a number car uh, cartoon four zombies number two action figure zombie number two there it is so that'll get you the that was easy achievement so from here what we can do is head slightly right again and just start heading down through these uh thick dense trees and then what you're gonna see basically in the distance is a little lantern so just keep heading straight for the time being and it's basically like a little dock with fishing gear on it so uh, just keep heading straight anyway you can't really get lost and if you do well, open your eyes. <laughs> Together we made it. Here we are on the fishing dock then. So what you're going to do then is pick up the letter first. That's Big John's letter. Greetings. And then we're going to pick up the book called Sea of Thieves. And a little cutting is going to happen. And we're going to get <laughs> the... She's only a ship, mate. Achievement. Now that again, that is a very awfully familiar sounding um achievement sounding name right there. Oh, it's only a ship, mate. Right, so after this bit, we can actually start heading forward now. And then we can uh, basically follow the path, slur turn slightly to the right here to see the well. It's an obvious looking well because it's got a light on it. What you're gonna do is obviously pick up the letter, which is just chilling. That's Steve's letter fragment number six. And if you'd look directly down. You can see the next book, another achievement in your life. Thank you, John B., for giving us the one more achievement in your life achievement. That was nice and easy. Right, turn directly, basically do a 360. You can see this big shed here. We're going to head behind the shed. Oh, remember that in school? Not only, probably only British, British kids will know what that means. Smoke in, because he's so cool. Uh, keep heading, and keep heading back, and you're going to see this scarecrow. It's very scary. Turns on fire. It's going to start following you, and creeping you out and stuff so head uh, to the left hand side of the shed after you've got that achievement there the bad thoughts head inside and head up the little ladder again you think, you think that i will give you power here never yeah. right press the left trigger by the key or by the chest sorry unlock it with the right trigger and what you can do is pick up the letter here on the left hand side for another little cutscene, and it's going to be carol carol's gonna she's gonna save the day Oh, good job, Carol. I love you. <laughs> anyway, what we can do after this part, we can head, just drop down the step, uh, just drop down the ladder. You're not going to die. Don't worry about that. Head to the right to go basically out the main front door and just keep on heading straight past the well until you can see the random looking portal. And uh, that will get us the good ending. So thank you, Carol. Or, or Coral. Because Americans, every American calls it Carl, a Coral. Carol, Coral, yeah I, don't, yeah, I don't know what I'm going on about either. Head of the portal, achievement will be unlocked and we can just crack on and I can stop talking utter nonsense. But we all know that's not going to happen. So after this, once again, after this small cutscene, the achievement should unlock. And Steve didn't let his nightmares dominate him. Good job, Steve. You the man, Steve. Woo! Well done, well done. Right, so what we can do is, if you don't want to just uh, go through the credits, uh, what you can do is actually just force quit the game, so completely quit out of the game here, go back into it, and then we can just start a new game.
All right, all right, all right. Let's do this thing. So let's get the bad ending then. So this is obviously shorter. It's only going to take, it's going to take half the time, about five minutes. So first things first, head straight and straight for the cabin. Come on, Steve boy. Use those Alan Wake ghostly floaty legs of yours faster. And of course, he didn't learn the first time the door's locked. So we need to head to the left, up to the mill, go and grab the key off the barrel. Of course, this time we're not going to be grabbing any items or any of the collectibles because we don't really need to. So straight up there, a couple of steps, grab the key, head back down to the cabin, and then of course, press the left trigger and then the right trigger to unlock the door. So this time we don't need to have a look at the breathtaking Keanu Reeves picture. We can just head to the left into this back room. We're going to pick up the key. Finally. Finally. And then we're going to press the left trigger and then the right trigger, of course, on the top one to interact with the pistol. Again, no reason why the pistol's there. It's just having a good time of its own. Having a good party. Right. Heading back out, what we're going to do is head slightly left and we're going to go back into or go towards the tower once again. I'm going to climb all the way up again. I don't know. I have courage to do this. I must continue. Now, personally, after all this climbing, I would have eaten whatever is on that plate. It's a moldy piece of bread, but still, you know, it's all, it's all carbs for you, isn't it? Otherwise, we're just going to pick up the key. Apparently, we're not hungry enough. Again, try not to die. Very slowly go towards the edge and then climb all the way back down. There's nothing wrong with a bit of moldy bread. People say mold is bad for you. It's just flavoring. That's all it is. So, uh, you know, mold's good for you. Supposedly. Anyway, after this bit, we can now just drop down once again, and then we can start heading straight through the dense, thick bushlands. And as we get to this nice little beach area, well, that'll probably be nice in the day, a little campfire sound sound. C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. But we're ignoring that, we're heading straight for the shed. Little help. If you just sing along. Sorry, my kids watch SpongeBob. Of course, it's not me watching SpongeBob on my own. <laughs> anyway, we're climbing up the ladder once again. I do love SpongeBob SquarePants, though. And once again, we're going to press the left trigger, of course, to interact and open up the key. So left trigger, right trigger, pick up the ammo case this time. So it's a mag... Ammo case, it's an ammo mag. Sorry, I'm not an expert on guns, only knife crime apparently, because that's all that happens in Britain. Uh, so we're going to turn right <laughs> through the um, shed doors. Basically, just keep hugging the right-hand side a set of trees right here. We are just heading towards the cabin. So it's America's guns versus Britain's knives. Who wins in a fight? I guess there's only one way to find out. Fight! No, let's not do that. Right, head into the cabin anyway. And head to the left, to the back sort of room. Pick up the pistol. Now, this is an ending that gets very dark. Now, this is actually the end, but, um, yeah, so, <laughs> that thing happened. Holy monkeys. Right, so, so that's it then. So, we basically went through all of that when we could have pretty much just climbed up the tower and just jumped off again, if Steve was that depressed. But, hey, it's all good. Anyway, here we go then, guys and gals. So, that is one step after fall. Very, uh... In a very short game, it's a very emotionally rich story, to be fair. Um, so I am hoping for another game that was very enjoyable. Very nice walking simulated game. But there we go. So that is that then. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. Hopefully the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A big shout out to everyone, again, who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Absolute legends. Love you all. And thank you to everyone who continues to, support, um, who continues to interact with me on the daily. That's it for me. I shall see you in the next one. Have big love.